Hey guys, Ryan from Coltsploitation.com here. Uh, we recently posted a written review of The Return of the Living Dead on 4K UHD from Screen Factory on the website, but I wanted to take a moment to kind of go over it in detail uh, for the TikTok. If you're a big fan of horror movies, you don't need me to go into the review of The Return of the Living Dead. You probably know all about it. Uh, it's a really fun movie. Uh, has great comedy to it. It does a lot to parody Night of the Living Dead and other dead movies from uh, the past, and it also ushers in the zombie brain eating that's not really part of the traditional zombie process. Let's talk about the video quality that's on this 4K UHD. If you remember, Screen Factory released a Blu-ray back in the day. I have it right here. Uh, this was a collector's edition and it had a 2K scan of the interpositive. Um, this new UHD has a 4K scan of the original camera negative. And so that means that this is a slight step up from the previous Blu-ray. I'm not going to say that you're going to notice a huge difference here. We did screenshot comparisons on the website and it's pretty similar. The main differences uh, come from the color timing on it. Um, and also, if you can take advantage of the Dolby Vision HDR, um, which this does have, then you're probably going to notice some differences in shadows and textures uh, that you wouldn't see on the previous Blu-ray or the Blu-ray that comes within this case. We do get three discs as part of this release too. So you have the 4K UHD version, which just has the feature film and some commentary. You get a Blu-ray disc, which has the feature film, and then also an extras disc, which has the majority of the extras on it. And those extras are basically ported over from the previous Blu-ray release. You'll also note that you do not get reversible cover artwork, unlike the previous Blu-ray. So is this new version worth upgrading? It's hard to say. If you don't already own the Blu-ray, then I would say definitely pick this up, especially if you're a Return of the Living Dead fan. I think that is probably the best quality that you're going to get for this movie. If you do already own the Blu-ray, that makes it a little bit more difficult to recommend. Um, I don't think that you're going to notice a huge step up in quality um, that you wouldn't see on the original Blu-ray. The biggest changes are color timing, uh, which in my opinion looks a little bit better on this disc. Um, it trades the yellows of the previous 2K interpositive scan for more of a greenish hue. Um, that really depends on your preference as well, because I've heard some people don't really like that greenish tint. Uh, you can check out our screenshots to see if that's something that you're interested in. And if you can take advantage of the HDR or Dolby Vision, then you would probably benefit from seeing uh, increased shadows, um, more deeper black levels, things like that. But if you can't take advantage of that, then you might want to skip out on this one.